Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about the distribution function known as a Lang distribution. What is the Lang distribution is there? This is initially created by Professor A.K. Lang, which is here, which is born in uh, 1878 and died in 1929 and is originally as a Denmark person. So what is that? This is a probability distribution function which are basically used to model the number of the telephone calls that the operator at the switching station may receive at once. This is one of the applications based on this person has defined this distribution function. Other than this, this distribution function is widely used in the telephone traffic engineering, queuing system, mathematical modeling and many other fields to, uh, to solve this real world uh, problems are there. What is the probability density functions of this Elang distributions are there? They are basically motivated from this exponential distribution because we all know that whenever there is a telephonic calls are there, the most work, uh, the pers the most uh, st stable distribution is of the exponential distribution. So this Elang distribution is the generalization of this exponential distribution. How it is a generalization? We will see about that. Firstly, we will see what is the uh, probability density function that is a PDF of this distribution. Uh, it is a continuous random variable x having the two unknown parameters that is a k and second is a mu then it's the pdf is defined like here where k is a greater than or equal to zero what is the k and sigma is the k will represent the shape parameter and it is always with a positive integer and mu is a scale, a scale parameter which will always be the positive real numbers remember that it's a integer so it means the k is nothing but my one two three and so on while this mu is my real number so it can be of the where is a positive real number however we can define the another parameters called as the rate parameter denoted by the lambda which is nothing but the reciprocal of this scale parameter that is mu is nothing but one by lambda so if you substitute the value of mu here and this what will happen is you can define the new pdf as of this you can see this is a lambda is power k and so on so these are the two different form of this Elang distribution you can use any one of them this will use as as this considered as the shape and the rate parameters while this one is considered as the shape and the scale parameters and the relation between the rate and the scale is given as of this one now you can see whenever you have to increase the value of this this is the line of the blue color this is the line of this green color and this is the line of the red color are there you can see like here whenever you have increasing the value of the scale from 1 to 0.5 1 then 0.5 then the 2 you can see the graph are here on the other hand when you shape values are 2 for this this is for the shape that is my bit if you compare them the shape is my k so you can see whenever this is for k is equal to 2 this is for my k is equal to 7 and this is for my k is equal to 9 because this is the shape and you can see the shape parameter is denoted by the k so as you increase the value of the k you can see that the peak point will decreases are there while the spread of this are defining on the scale reasons are there also this Elang distribution has a special relationship with the other distributions like here this is the probability density functions of this Elang distribution if you set k this particular k as my 1 what will happen this part will nothing but my 0 e x raised to power 0 is nothing but my 1 so this pdf what will happen this is nothing but e raised to power x by mu what is that this is 1 0 factorial is 1 so do you remember that which is which distribution is here i can write this form of here do you remember which one is there e absolutely true this is nothing but my exponential distribution that is whenever k is 1 then it will be a uh, that is a shape parameter is 1 then it will be my exponential distribution where lambda is nothing but my 1 by nu however if you set mu as my 2 in this in this pdf what will happen is this is nothing but my chi square distribution you can compare them e raised power x by 2 you can see x by 2 x is nothing but k minus 1 so if you set k x mu is this and k is nothing but here what is the new is nothing but the degree of freedom and since what is the nature of the k k is always with the integer if k is always with the integer then what is the value of the new new must be of the even degree so that is of the two degree of freedoms are there or it can be four degree of freedom so this is nothing but my here remember k is a positive integer so that is the most generalization forms are there 
so what you conclude that so exponential distribution is one of the particular case of this elang distribution so you can see this elang this distribution is the generalization of this exponential distribution other than these two special cases are there we can also see that when you set k instead of the integer if you set k as a real number then this distribution is nothing but my gamma distribution as you already seen in our last lectures another then you can see that the gamma distribution the pdf is here and you can see in this case the k is a real and whenever k is a real then instead of the k minus 1 factorial it can be written as a gamma function and you can see these are both same when k is real and here k is integer so that's why gamma distribution is a generalization of this elang distribution also exponential distribution is a generalization of the exponential distribution why because this is one of the particular case corresponding to k is 1 however this is the more generalization apart from this all of us knows that the exponential distribution is usually models the time interval for the first event since it is that generalization so it can be considered for the kth event whenever you set k as a different values of the integers positive integer then we can set as for the kth event or what you can say that it means if you set k1 is my exponential distribution k2 is also be my exponential distribution and so on so how many are there say xk are my exponential distribution and if you add them what will happen these are nothing but my k k events are there so that will follows my erlang distribution or you can say whenever xis are my exponential distribution then sum of the xis follows the erlang distribution and this will be very helpful for you while solving this multiple choice questions apart from them the exponential distribution and the elang distributions based on the constant rate poisson process are there what is the poisson process all of you know that uh, this is here this is my e raised to power minus lambda this raised to power x upon x factor if already taken as x here then i taken as a r now once how you define this this is nothing but my 1 minus of f of x and this is here so if you differentiate this with respect to the r times then you will get all the terms cancel and you can get the pdf as of this so you can see this is nothing but the pdf of the erlang distribution now what are the uses of the erlang distribution there are the many uses are there as we have seen there are the uses of the calls call centers are there what is that it is used to model the time in between the in incoming calls along with the expected number of the calls are there also you can see this this distribution will help will allow the call center to know whether there is any staffing capacity should be during that different times or they will without losing any of the monies are there or during the given shift apart from this uh, uses in the call center they are widely used in the medical settings as well as the retail are there for example the elang distribution is widely used in the model cell cycles are there however in the retail cycling this is widely used whenever you are modeling the frequency of the interpurchase items also this will give you the retailers and the other business an idea about how you can offer the given customer and the expected values of their purchase are there so that will help you in the business to control the inventories as well as from their staffing are there what are the various parameters which are associated with this elang distributions are there you can see there are the two different forms are there this is one with respect to the shape and the scale are there while this is based on the shape as well as on the rate are there so based on this you can easily find the value of the mean how you can find the value of the means are there this is x into f of x so if you take on here then you can after solving you will get as of mean is there we will see in our next video why how you can derive this one similarly you can find the variances of this from this pdf are there now you all, all of you know that the difference between the rate and scale is nothing but the mu is nothing but my 1 by lambda so if you substitute the value of mu here as 1 by lambda so the mean will be here so there is no need to solve this one you can simply replace of this one apart from this you can also find the skewness as well as the ketosis what is the skewness is nothing but here this is totally dependent on the value of the k and this is ketosis is 6 by k once you are defining this uh, scale parameters uh, parameters are there we will see certain properties also what are those if you have some pro, uh, random variable x which follows the elang distribution with the parameter k and mu then 
if you multiply with the real number like if x follows this Lang distributions are there then 2 of x minus of 4x minus x by 2 it also forms a Lang distribution with the parameter shape is remain the same but the scale is changes as of a times this is the property one what is the property second is if x and y both are follows the Lang distributions with the parameter k1 while this scale uh, this scale parameters or you can say the rate parameter is the constant value on the both side then the sum of these two distribution will again the long distribution with the parameters of this provided x and y are my independent last property is that if xi follows the exponential distribution then the sum of the xi will happens to be a long distribution or you can say if i say xi are my iid having the pdf of here this is my say e raised power minus of 2x then what will happen on the here so you can see this is my exponential distribution with parameter is my 2 so you can say the sum of will will be follows the e long distribution with the parameter how many x i's are there if i consider x i from 1 to 3 then it will be my k is my 3 and lambda is nothing but my 2 is here so these are the properties of this Lang distribution we will see their proofs in our next video so that you can easily learn here we will see in our next class how you can find the movement generating function characteristics function and the various properties of these distributions are till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning